Do it yourself with Tsukashi. Hi teens! I know you're all anxious to fight the rectanguloids in martial combat, and that's great because it's the proper attitude of any true martial artist. But before you can save the planet, you're gonna need to be in great shape. Great shape! Let's start with some simple stamina exercises. Stamina is almost exactly like endurance. One time, I was being attacked by hidden rectanguloids and I just kept jumping around until the rectanguloids ran out of their inferior endurance powers. But I was able to keep going because I developed stamina, which is a lot better. You can build stamina by doing stuff like jogging. Huh. Let's go! <sighs> God. You can also develop stamina powers by doing stuff like jumping rope. Quick tip! A bowl of candy can give you the energy you need for a workout worthy of the universal sand dollar. Oh yeah! Before you train to be a superhero, you have to warm up. One time, a space snake almost defeated me in battle because he attacked me without giving me time to warm up. Some guys will tell you that warm ups are light, easy exercises that loosen up your muscles. But I like to put on a sweater and turn on a heater for an extra fast warm up. Oh, oh I, I think I've overwarmed up. Uh, I, I need some iced tea! It's important to be able to kick all of your opponents in the face. 10 out of every 10 martial art karate foo dojos will tell you that even their worst students kick someone in the face twice a day! In order to be flexible enough to do this, you have to stretch. The president once said that any enemy can become your friend if he kicks you hard enough. So I'm going to show you how to do a proper running crossover X formation kick maneuver. <laughs> Hey Frank, what you doing in my backyard? Hey, I'm gonna call the cops on you. What do you think you're doing in my backyard? Hey, I'm gonna call you on the cops. I'm gonna call the cops. Do it yourself with Sukashi.